Whoa, what is this? Oh, this is a big fish. Hi right, guys, what's up? Today I'm gonna go on the bank. We have about three hours. I'm gonna try to catch a flathead. That's what I'm targeting anyways. I got bluegill, and uh, that, that's all I got. It, it's been really, really, really tough for me to catch flathead lately. I don't know what's going on. It's been kind of slow. I'm gonna go back here and uh, see if I can get them. Stay tuned. Hi right, guys, I am uh, I'm back where it all began. This is uh, where I caught my first flathead, and I'm um, as you can see on the bank. There's a creek coming in over there. It's it's kind of deep here. I'm um, deeper than most of the Fox River, anyways. Goal is to catch a flathead today. I got live bait out, um, all bluegills, and uh, there's a lot of scattered structure down here because. Usually I'm on the boat, I could see what's what's down there and I decided I'm gonna come back to where it all began and part of that's because there's a storm rolling in. Or a big storm and I don't, don't want to be out on the boat. I guess it's supposed to get real windy. So I'm gonna take a couple hours out here and just relax and see if I can't uh, put it on them. I have definitely caught my fair share of flatheads in this exact spot so I don't know if it's a time of year thing or um, or what they're quite doing at that time of year when I was doing really good here, but it's the beginning of the season. It's spring. Well, it's uh, going into June, and um, water temp is 68, 60, 67, 68. So they should be feeding up. We'll see what happens. Stay tuned. All right, nothing else is really working. I got big bluegills out there, and they ain't getting touched. So I'm gonna go ahead and. I went ahead and downsized the hook. Try to catch a channel cat real quick. All I got here is a, a bluegill I've um, I mutilated a bluegill here. So here's how I'm gonna do it. I ain't got a knife because I forgot my knife. I really didn't even plan on coming out fishing, but my wife uh, let me come out for a few hours. So I'm gonna go ahead and I don't have a knife here. I'm gonna rip just a little chunk like that off. I think that I'm gonna throw that out there. Yeah, I'll just throw throw that little chunk out there. These are uh, this is a five aught team catfish double action circle hook. And I'm just gonna throw it on there. Here, that's it. That's what I'm putting out there. Because the flatheads don't seem to want to eat over here and usually I get some nice ones here I'm just throwing it bombing it in the middle of the channel I'm not really aiming for nothing there you go and that'll be that yep now, I'll wait, see what happens. Whoa, what is this? Oh, this is a big fish. All right, guys. Could this be a flathead? It's gotta be. Oh yeah.
It's a big old flathead. Oh, he wants to make a run. I might have to get in with this one. That's all right. He's a strong boy. It's hard when you don't got a net. Oh, I got him. That's a big boy. There we go. All right, guys, let me show you what this fish ate. I wasn't getting no bites, and I've been here four hours. So, I threw on a uh, five out hook. Threw on a five out hook and I threw two tiny chunks. Two tiny chunks of bluegill on there. It's like man, I'll just catch a I'll just catch a channel cat. Cause uh it's been slow. I've tried everything guys, I'm not even gonna lie. But that's a big boy right there, so I'm gonna get a weight on him and get him back in. Hi right, guys, I've been fishing since uh, four o'clock. Now, I've had live bluegills out, I've had bullheads, everything. Um, finally, I got sick of not catching anything and I thought I'd throw a tiny piece of bluegill on there. And like I said, this is a spot I used to fish a lot. And this guy decided to eat. This is a 25 pounder and he's healthy. He's very, very healthy. Um, this catfishing, especially for flatheads, is my obsession. Um, I, you could ask anybody, I put so much time so much time and so much energy into catching these fish um, and once in a while it pays off anybody that fishes for these can tell you that they are uh, they can be elusive at time I'm gonna let this one go it's all about CPR for me so that maybe one day I could catch him when he's 100 pounds okay Look at that fish, man. That thing is beautiful. Just fucking beautiful. That was awesome. Like I said, keep on trying and it will pay off. That persistence will pay off. Um, the flathead will just get bigger and bigger. The more time you put out there, the, the bigger the fish will get. Um, 
You just gotta keep trying. You'll get that. Uh, you'll get that giant. So, uh, that wasn't a giant, but it was a great fish. I'll take a 25-pound flathead any day of the week. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Until the next one. See ya.